Is the cheapest vlogging camera you can get on Amazon any good? Let's find out. What's up everybody? Welcome back to Reviewing the Cheapest. That's where we go out and we find the cheapest technology, the cheapest whatever, the cheapest products, and we have a great time just checking out to see are they actually worth anything? Because as technology marches on, Good stuff gets cheaper and cheaper all the time. So thanks for joining me today. So here in Reviewing the Cheapest, we're trying to do three things. What comes with it? Does it do what it says on the box? And three, is it durable enough? Is, is it a cheap piece of crap? Or can it survive a little bit of use and it's not gonna fall apart the first time you get it? So today we've got the cheapest vlogging camera you can get on Amazon. It is an Acuvar digital camera. I got it for like, I think I got it for like 10 or 15 bucks. Uh, it says it's got a 2.4 inch color screen, 14 megapixels. Looks like it's got an f2.8 uh, to four millimeter lens. YouTube ready, hooray YouTube. Let's make sure that it's ready It's ready for us right now. So thank you, camera. Okay, so let's, there's only one way to get this kind of packaging open and that's to steal my wife's uh, kitchen shears because I can't find anything else to open it up. <laughs> Is she, she's not watching, right? She's not home right now, so hopefully she doesn't actually watch this video. Okay, what do we got in the... Let's not, let's not cut ourselves. Okay, what do we got in the box? We've got a ooh, old school USB to USB adapter. And since this thing uh, takes AAA batteries, I assume that is not to plug it in. Oh, we got some user guides. Thank goodness they're gonna walk us through using it. The 14 megapixel Acuvar. Please read first. Oh my goodness, know your camera. SD card slot, oh, that's important. Okay, uh, yeah, nobody, nobody reads, and I don't even read instructions on my nice stuff. <laughs> okay, oh, there's another one, I'm sorry. We missed you, Acuvar. Certificate of limited warranty. We got to make sure that we use the warranty on the $15 action camera. Okay, Let's pop the action camera out of the box. I think that's it for everything in here. Ooh, look at that guy. Acuvar MFC 77, 14 megapixels, four times digital zoom. It's got some buttons. Now the buttons actually, you know, for as sarcastic as I'm being, the buttons actually feel pretty nice. Um, it is clearly, can you hear that? Can you hear that? It's, I mean, obviously it's made of plastic. It does have an SD card slot there on the bottom. It also has a tripod mount there. It's got, looks like it's got a little tally light here. Uh, power button, shutter button, a little microphone. Okay, let's pop it in and see what it can do. Before we do that, let's see, what does it have on the back? I don't think it actually says, take pictures, take video clips, zoom up to four times, that is important. System requirements, Windows XP. Pentium 3, one gigahertz or higher. 512 megabytes of RAM, we'll, where will we find all of that RAM? CD-ROM drive, oh shoot. If it really needs a CD-ROM, it doesn't come with a CD. Did it? It did not come with a CD. Oh shoot, it did come with a CD. Uh-oh, <laughs> we might we might be in trouble, uh, cause I, when's the last time I, I can't remember the last time I had a CD-ROM drive. Okay, so we made sure to go out and buy some Having done reviewing the cheapest of four a few times before, I have figured out that we will probably need some kind of like batteries. So good thing we went out and bought AAA batteries ahead of time. One, two, three. Uh oh, is it gonna, it might break. Okay, here we go, attempt number three. Power. We got a beep, Acuvar. Okay, so it's got the screen. The screen actually works. Can we zoom in? Okay, we can zoom in. What else do we got? We've got the... Okay, we took a picture. Memory full. All oh, right, we should, we should probably put an SD card in here. So we've got the options for scene, image size, so it looks like it does VGA. Let's do super fine. White balance, we'll leave it on auto. Color standard, color effect, ooh, it's got, we've got sepia, monochrome, vivid. So we'll keep it on standard. Image, normal, we'll keep it on normal. We'll keep everything, ooh, we got ISO, uh, metering, language, so that's pretty nice. It does have some manual functions in here. That is pretty, that is pretty darn neat. Okay, so what we're gonna do, let's pop in an SD card, we're gonna head outside, and we're gonna see what the video and audio quality 
on the Acuvar MC MFC 77 is. See you out there. <laughs> okay, so now we are getting ready to do the functionality test on the Acuvar MFC 77. Okay, so let's make sure that everything inside of here works. Is it on? Nope, nope, it turned off. There we go, Acuvar. So you can see we've got some, uh, some options up here. Let's check out the menu. Let's see what we can get out of the menu. Scene, uh, we'll keep it in auto. Image resolution, I think this is for photo. I don't think this is for video. Image quality, super fine. Anti-shake, pretty nice. We'll keep on our stabilization. Multi-snapshots, white balance. Color effect, ooh, I like that it's got color effect. I'm really kind of impressed with all of the options that are inside of this thing. I didn't actually expect to find any real settings at all. So let's switch to video. There we go. Okay, now let's go through the menus again. Our option is VGA. And all the same options, I believe. Which is, you know, that's pretty that's pretty impressive. Firmware 1.0.1. .1. Always make sure to keep your Acubar camera's firmware up to date. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we've seen what we got in here. Let's, you know, let's give it a quick, uh, you know, the old college try. Here is the RX. Here's the Ninja V. Here's me. Hey, everybody. Okay, so this is the image quality and the audio quality out of the Acuvar MFC 77. I'm actually, uh, I'm pretty excited to see how this goes because if you saw my cheapest action camera video, it actually looked pretty good. The image quality was pretty darn good. And this has an f2.8 lens, uh, so hopefully it would look even better because 2.8 is, you know, pretty wide open aperture for a sensor that I'm assuming is like, ee. But yeah, this is the image quality, this is the audio quality, this is the everything video related quality out of the cheapest vlogging camera you can get on Amazon. So, let's go see how it looks. Okay, and thanks to the magic of editing, I've had a chance to review the footage, and for a cheap camera, the footage looks pretty good. I mean, for it's VGA, it's not even it's not even in 16 by 9 aspect ratio, but I think the footage looked pretty good. The audio was kind of rough, you know, it had a lot of peaking in it. So if you're going to use this, you're going to have to be like really you're going to have to be really quiet. You're going to have to be really quiet or you're going to get some peaking. Now, as a would I use this for YouTube? Is it YouTube ready? I mean, yeah, I guess technically you can put that image quality up on YouTube, but the image quality works perfectly fine. It does what it says in the box. So we've seen what comes in the box. We've seen what it can do. Now it's time to find out how cheaply is it built. One. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna drop it four times. We're gonna see if it turns on after that to find out is it just a cheap piece of crap or can you actually use it for something? So, so that was drop one. Number two. That one did not sound good. <laughs> Number three. Yep, the batteries, the batteries wanted to come out. Let's, okay, here we go, here we go. Number, number four. Okay. Okay, so after four drops, it does look like there is a little bit of uh, physical damage. We got some scratches, some dings, but it is still together. But it is still together, which is more than that action camera can say. So now for time for the moment of truth. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, let's see if maybe when we dropped it, we, we messed up the batteries a little bit. Let's pop the batteries out, pop them back in. Okay. Moment of truth. Take two. Moment of truth, take two. Oh no! I was really hoping that we were gonna have like a, a win here. I was really thinking that we were gonna have a win. What is it, is there anything like that we can pop back in real quick? Nothing looks like super broken. 
It actually doesn't look broken at all. Ah, but you hear that? Something's broken inside of it. Yep. So physically, it looks fine, but yeah. Something's broken inside of there. So, to wrap up, we, f we saw what came in the box, we saw what it can do, we saw that it's not very durable. Would I recommend you get one of these? Now, like I mentioned with the action camera, the way that I would recommend this is if you're trying to get like your kid or you're trying to give it, if you're trying to give this present to a kid, maybe you could do that because they can see what they're recording. It actually works with SD cards and it works. So for the very low price of entry, you can get a camera that you could give to somebody that could actually work. I would baby it because I didn't drop it very far and it's already broken and you know useless, which means it's a fail for reviewing the cheapest, but I think if you wanted to get this for a kid, it would be perfectly fine. So is it the best? No. Is it the highest quality? No. But it is the cheapest. Thanks for watching.